check it. Yes, it says I'm live. Let me see, and then I can remove the earphones and start the game. Okay. Yes, I'm live, very good. I don't need this anymore. Yeah, all good. Okay, all good for me. Whew. Hello everyone. Chess 24 Bunter Bleeds. This is game number one with uh, Matthias Bluebaum from Germany. I'm not very familiar with this particular interface. Uh, hopefully the stream would go smoothly. I'm not sure how to start the clock. So I guess I would wait for Matthias to play the move. I've been sent the links to the games. I'm using my YouTube channel for the stream so that uh, it's not just 24's one, it's my personal. And I hope, I hope everything goes well. I will not be reading the, okay, the game has started. Matthias Bluba, Slav defense. Knight goes to f6, e3, bishop to f5. So we are playing best of eight, best of eight games. So the first one to score four and a half, at least four and a half, wins the match. All right, bishop goes back. It's quite an unusual interface. I hope you can see the chessboard. Everything is fine. So I'm just going to focus on the game. F4 without bishop d3. Interesting. Does it make any difference? I don't think so. Knight c6, e6, bishop to e7, castle, castle, bishop d7. The pawn on b7. Oh, I cannot draw arrows. Okay, knight goes to e5. <coughs> Hold on, let me check my my memory. It's rook c8, queen b7, knight b4. It's still a perpetual for the queen, so rook c8 is possible. I had this very position against Sanan Sugirov a few years ago. I lost, but my, my position was okay, I would say. White has a pleasant position. Knight is on e5. The bishop on d2 is not very good. Rook a to c1. Okay, so knight a5 kicking the queen. And if I remember correctly, it's knight to c4 is a good move here. Let me double check that one. Yeah, I think I'm right. So d c4 is my pre move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I think I need to go b4, b5, b4 to challenge the center. Or bishop c6. Maybe bishop c6 is a good move. Stopping e4 and then b5. Or b5 right now. b5, e4, b4. That seems good to me. Although, yeah, let's go b5. I think I have a good position. My king is safe. The center looks nice, but the bishop on d2 is not so good. I guess why I should go a3, I can go a5. Uh-huh. I was planning b4 and bishop to b5. Is it any good? Or bishop c6 now? No, I want to kick that knight. I don't like that knight e5, knight e4 coming or d5. And now e4 and d4 are the problems. I was thinking bishop c6 just attacks a pawn and I don't see how he can protect it. He can only go e5. And then I have like queen d5 and stuff. Bishop c6, rook c4, bishop takes e4. It's a good position, so I'm going to do this. I, pl I was planning bishop b5 and some c3 ideas, but now I like this more. I think I have a good position. e5, queen d5 just wins. Rook e2, knight g4. d5, typical sacrifice. e d5, e5, knight e4. Don't see a problem. Rook takes c4, bishop takes e4. Rook c8, queen c8 takes, takes uh, isolated pawn. I think I'm doing fine. The pawn is hanging. Knight g3 is not possible. Uh, 
what would I do if I were him? Yeah, rook c4 and suffer. Let's see if not, I'm not missing anything. No, it doesn't look like that. Bishop takes, queen takes c8, knight takes bishop e3. So I'm probably a little bit better due to isolated pawn, but nothing special. So how can I... So my rook is not in the game and my queen needs to get maybe queen c4 right now, just activating the queen immediately. Attacking some pawns, maybe rook goes to c8. a2 is hanging. b3 weakens the c3 square. And I was planning queen b5. Uh, or queen d5, let's say queen b5 to stop queen d3. I'm, I'm not letting f5, I'm not letting d5. And I completely forgot about this move. Arr! Such a simple move, okay. <sighs> I want to go, okay, knight f6, I guess. Opponent disconnected, okay. Knight goes to f6, knight is coming to d5. Queen c4 must be a good move here. Rook c1, okay. Yeah, I cannot resist knight d5. Looks so good. And now I need... I need some move like g6. Just to be secure on the back rank. Queen c4, of course. I want to keep the queens. My king is... Um, is a little better. Queen a5. I thought I go knight b6 and rook c8. Let's go knight b6. Let's attack that queen. Let's see where it goes. Queen c7, it's rook c8. Okay. And if I go rook c8 anyway, too slow probably. Let me check his intentions. I'm coming back to d5. I think I'm better, but I don't see what I can, what else can I do. Okay, so he's okay with the draw, which is good to know. Let me develop my rook there. I hope this stream is all right. Yeah, it seems all right. G3. Let's go H5. In some cases, that's a useful inclusion. Queen F3. So now I go back to D5. And I go Queen A6. And then rook c8 is my move. Let's see one rook c8. Queen d3. Oh! Oh my god, how could I have blundered this move? Queen d3, rook c8, I resign. Um, Knight f4 is not working. Knight f4 is not working, so I have to go here. X takes queen c4. If I go to an endgame, is it any good? Yeah, it would be good. Knight b6. c5. Knight comes back. Or knight goes, knight comes back. And then I move the king to the queen side. What, he does d5? No way. What if I take here? And now a5? Okay. 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 Did not see this move for some reason. Focus. Mm. Let's go with the king. is not good. I have to move back. And it's I screwed up. A4, my next move.
Oh my god, what's this? Oh my god, I lost. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, I lost. <clears throat> oh. Those knights jumping. Yeah. yeah, next time, I know. I think this is the game number two. And I think I should just start. French defense. He got lucky. I played well, but he got lucky. Okay, let's focus. What's my line here? Takes, takes. I'm so angry at myself, Castle. <sighs> All right, but I outplayed him with black pieces from a slightly worse position that gotta count for something. A6, okay. Yeah, should have played knight b5 just now. Let's transfer the queen to the king side. Knight g5, bishop d3 and stuff. Knight d4. I was thinking rook takes. Is it good? Bishop b7. I was thinking queen h4. Bishop takes. Hold on, I have bishop g6, bishop d3 intermediate move. Do I need it? I'm not so sure. Or maybe I do need it. Or maybe I keep that option. Maybe e6 capture in the some magical line for me could work. So if takes, I'm gonna take. Knight c6, rook g4. No, knight c6, then bishop d3, g6, rook c4, pinning that knight, something like that. It seems as I always have bishop d3 as an option. <laughs> Opening the g-file for him could be very risky. Let's move the bishop here. Knight f6, rook f4. Queen e7 is also the move. Rook f4, isn't it? Isn't it winning? That looks very promising to me. Knight g5, h6, I don't see the follow-up. But rook f4 with the threat rook f6 looks, looks awesome. Let's go. Ah, rook f6, rook d3. My god. Okay, knight g5 first. Still rook d3. So I have to move my king. I have to move my king. And now I'm a little too slow. C6, 
6 rook d3 c takes d check king a1 bishop d5 it's not good bishop h7 knight h7 nothing knight moves knight g5 knight g5 h6 and then rook f6 no maybe just moves the king i don't know oh i'm not doing stuff right my rook is not playing i'm playing with my king i need to focus <sighs> mate in one is coming i've seen that idea but somehow i thought i can handle it no i cannot handle it rook c4 is literally the only move hold on yeah, it's literally the only move and I get to a losing hand game. It's just a losing hand game. Oh my god. 95. That's it. Okay, not that's it. I'm gonna fight, but... It seems that I was better prepared in the opening and, well couldn't do anything about his yeah I don't know what to do just g3 I guess h4 just hold it Oh, rook c3. Why did I forget about that move? I hope he's not listening to me. I have 97 check, but that's just king f7. And I lose. Yes, so I have to do this. Uh, of course, king goes to c2. Knight e4. How to not lose immediately? Activate the knight. Go for the queen side, I suppose. Knight h5 loses the knight. Maybe knight d3 is okay. Or maybe knight h3 is better. And then king d3 is my next move. Activate my light knight, but I think that ship has sailed. Okay, let's resign. Let's just resign. Mm. I think that's the game number three. Two zero. Two zero. Let's try again. I got good position. So he has to be the one changing the opening or finding an improvement. <sighs> no ninety five. What difference does it make? I can jump to c4 now. 
which is good. Okay, so I got the bishop on d2. Okay, do I go b5 or do I? Yeah, let's go b5. I have a good position, the bishop cannot move. And capture are obviously good for me, so he's forcing the capture. But then I have a good dark squared bishop. Okay. I was thinking throw the bishop there. That would be a huge pain in the neck for him. And now b5 seems like hanging, but uh, well, let's say queen goes to b6 maybe. Queen goes to b6. And then, and then a6. Oh, b4. Oh my god. b4 is possible for him. With a rook b3 threat. Okay, I blundered it, but it's not horrible. But I should see this kind of stuff. Okay. Should be for I can blunder stuff like knight d5, but I don't see anything better. I got relaxed with that bishop on h3, I thought it can handle the threats himself. I'm losing because of stupid blunders. I'm playing good chess, but I am blundering. Queen e2. A6 was my plan. It's very aggressive on his behalf. Okay, g5, d7. I'm gonna go g6, I don't know why. Just just to not calculate bishop h7 and stuff. It's my next move. Let me offer a draw to him. Now b4 is not a problem. So I can try to rearrange my pieces better. How? Knight should go to d6, but there's no way I'm getting there. Knight b8. Knight c6, knight b4 is a good destination also. Okay, knight b8 was good unless I blundered something, which doesn't seem to be the case. Ooh, knight is coming to some nasty squares. King g7. Should I play knight b4? Yeah, of course. Of course. What do I do next? Knight e7, regrouping. Let's just put the knight there. Looks awful, but at least I'm covering my weaknesses. Bishop d7, rook c8 are my next moves. Queen h4 still. Ah, knight f6 is his plan. Okay, so let me do this to have ideas like h5 and stuff. Should d7.
What do we do on 95? 92, rook c8 was my plan. Yeah, I'm worse. His knights are creating lots of problems for me. I need my queen, queen a5 or something. I have it. Oh, no, I don't have h5. b4. Okay. Takes, takes a5. Let's get some counterplay going. with the queen or maybe with the rook not sure yet let's just exchange I want it to be and now I wanted to do this to c try to come in with the queen but I don't like this bishop e7 is hanging. Cannot move the bishop because of knight e6. Bishop c6. Ah, I misplayed this one. Of course. It's just one check on a1. Oh my god. Another blunder. I guess I have to take. the end game of course and the end game is completely lost for me no chances don't see any chances <sighs> apparently he's just a better player this is my top rating ever on uh, on chess 24 this is just hopeless I don't see what I can do just go with the king somewhere where am I going I don't know yeah it's just resignable yeah it's complete domination I'm gonna resign This is game number four. Let's do another French. Aha, he didn't like the French. Okay, Karo Kanadis. I just need one win. Come on. I need one win. Not more, not less. Just one win. It shouldn't be that hard. One win. That's all I'm asking. I missed that counterplay. Why is it working? It should not have been working for him. Should have castled long, I guess. Is knight g5 a good move here? Let's try it. Should have given that check much earlier. Is e5 possible? Takes d4. Yeah. e5, knight f3. It's not that bad. The idea of this line is to suffocate black 
to give him no counterplay. But I'm not sure if that is working. So everything's good with this tree. Just one win. I just need one win. It's time that he blunders something to me. Okay. Takes, 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 c5, bishop moves. And then I have a d3 pawn problem. If I take with the bishop, I don't have that problem. So I'm gonna take with the bishop. Although I like having a bishop, but I have lots of pawns on dark squares. I want to remove it. Yeah. Mm. Let's say rook a to e1. He should blunder something to me now. It's time. Take, let's do this. Let's see if I can keep my knight on d4. Apparently I cannot. I thought f4 was possible. It's just no good. Rook e3, rook f3. Or a draw, but I'm worse. I think he should keep going. If I were him, I would keep going. Yeah. Okay. He's going for my B pawn. Okay. What if I go knight d4? It's knight f5. And the pawn ending could be lost. Knight b3, knight g3. Knight. No, that's no good. King f2, knight c2. Not good. Knight h4, king f7. King f2, knight c2, knight f5. Knight b4, losing too many pawns. King f2, knight c2. No. Knight d4, knight f5. Knight e2, maybe. barely holding it together If I go d4, that looks like a tsukswank. And then I just wait with my king. I guess I should do it, but it looks horrible. Just waiting now. I can attack the g6 pawn in theory at least.
I'm not sure where I'm going with my knight. I want to go to e5. Why would that help me? I don't know. still okay with the draw One draw is not bad. One draw is not bad. I think this is game number four. Yeah, the number five, apologies. Let's try this one again. Ah, uh -huh. okay. London system. Forgive me for this, I need some energy. think it's good I think I'm throwing my knight on e4 and then going like f6 yeah let's try <clears throat> ah knight f Six to d7 was the correct move, not bd7. I messed up. I have six d7, and then I have f6. What's wrong with f6 now? I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Except, oh no, it's all good. Bishop takes d6. I guess. Queen takes d6 is good. Queen takes bishop takes takes dc5. Queen c5, queen d7 takes no. Okay, uh, here takes dc5. Queen moves. Yeah, queen takes is good. <sighs> Three and a half to half. Oh my god. <sighs> you don't see the score because I didn't prepare it so well. Okay. I was thinking just queen c7 should do the trick. Or queen c6 for that matter. Let's go queen c7. Looks I don't like my queen attacked by, by the pieces. What is my move now? I need that pawn. And b4 is his next move. Maybe queen c6 was more accurate. I'm pawn down. What do I do? What do I do? Queen e7 was better. And now I would have had bishop c. Anyway, okay, let's focus on what to do now. If I lose this one, that's match over. So I will not do it. I will not lose this. Queen c6. 
queen e2. Okay. I have a fancy square that I'm enjoying. I'm gonna double rooks. I'm gonna do this. I blundered a fork on e6. It's awful. That's it. Knight e6, rook d1 takes, takes everything. Queen goes, queen d8, check. Pawn end game is completely lost. Bishop d5. <sighs> yeah, knight e6 just wins. Yeah, okay, I have some chances. Queen d7. Knight e6. Thanks, thanks. Let's do this. Seems like a better version. Knight is just escaping. That's the problem. I thought I have b6 and then I blundered knight b7. I just keep blundering. And that's it. That's it. That's game over, guys. If I take, he takes. The pawn on e7 is hanging. The fork and the pawn on a7. If I go b6, which was my plan, he goes c7, knight c6, or knight b7. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the last game, unfortunately. Mm. I had such great positions in the opening, but apparently if you, you play opening well, but then you blunder all kinds of stuff, there's nothing to, to see there. I'm just gonna resign now. Yeah. I think that concludes our match. Three, three games before the hypothetical end. Yeah, reach four and a half. Four and a half to half. It's even worse than with Firuza. We don't have to start the next games, I suppose. He reached four and a half. Congratulations, Matthias. I was better prepared in the opening. But it didn't help me. And I did some tactics. I did my uh, part of the work. You were better today. <sighs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed my stream. It's very hard to find positive things to say when you're so depressed. If you liked what you saw, just like this video, subscribe to my channel, check the description. I didn't expect to be better prepared in the opening. He's very well prepared in the opening usually, as far as I'm concerned. He's a member of national team, number one rated player in Germany. So he's, and I'm number 20 in Ukraine or something. Mm. I did not expect such, such a defeat. That's always the first game. I had a great position, probably a winning one in the first game. And I blundered. And after that, it's really hard to recover from such a defeat with just in, in just a few seconds to spare. Self-esteem is low, no time to see where you went wrong. Yeah, that's why when you're playing Blitz, yeah, somehow, I don't know, you should get a pill or something to, to relax, but you still need your speed. So I'm not sure how to recover from a defeat. It's very hard to recover from a painful defeat, even in classical game, when you have the whole day to, to, to try to recover. But in Blitz match, it's almost impossible. He got the psychological edge from, from that game, and that was it. I hope you like my explanations of my mistakes. Yeah, I'm guessing that would be it.
I'm not sure if I can show anything and the board would just just disappear maybe I would have to make a stream with analysis of my games on Lee Chess join Chess24 Premium and check the description if you want to support my work there are some courses that I did in the description if you want private lessons you can also find information in the description that would be it last year at least I won some games against Firuza I won the first match this year yeah that's what happens when you focus on teaching writing books recording videos having lessons and you don't play for a while you just lose practice so my understanding didn't go anywhere I memorized my openings I, I did fine but the tactics is just if you don't train it on every day it just drops yeah bad day I suppose but uh, I don't see a good day coming up because to have a good day you have to you have to do your homework and it doesn't seem it's very hard during the quarantine to to find motivation to work on your chess because there's no tournament in the nearest future which is a huge demotivator yeah thank you for still listening to my <laughs> complaints about the match yeah did I do the mess properly yeah it's three more the game number five that's it <sighs> yeah four and a half to half that's bad okay I'm gonna end this stream and try to look for something positive in this defeat keep up your head up thank you all now I'm reading the chat okay Thank you all for watching, uh, take care, check the description of the video, like the video, comment the video, and, uh, and that would be it. Yeah, just one draw. Still cannot recover. Okay, number five, number six. I already said goodbye and I cannot end the stream. Thank you all for listening to me. Take good care of yourself. No, I'm not going to start. The match is uh, uh, the first one to reach four and a half wins. So he reached four and a half. That's why the match is over. And normally if I would be streaming on Chess24, I see, would see the score. But this is my stream. It's not nearly as good as Chess24. So apologies for that. Take care of yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye. <laughs>